Hey guys, it's WB Training Cards here, and today I'm going to be opening two multi packs uh, from the brand new Star Wars Force Attacks collection, which was, of course, released at the same time as the new film, which is set to become the biggest grossing film ever in history uh, on Tuesday. So it's gone pretty big, and this is uh, likely to be one of the biggest movie trading card collections ever as well. Um, so we have got two of the multi packs here. Uh, you can see they do just contain five packs, retail at five pounds or eight euros. Uh, so you're literally just paying for the five packs, and then you get the limited edition card for free, uh, basically. And this will either be the first order transporter or the Tie Fighter, as you can see the two of those there. So there is two to collect. We're opening two multi packs today. Hopefully we can get both of them. But you can see on the back just the usual adverts and stuff. Uh, but without further ado, let's get the seal off and get straight into the first one. Alright, so here we go. Um, the limit station is usually either in the top pack or the bottom pack. So we'll open the middle three first on this first multi pack. Um, and as you can see, they're just stuck on with double sided tape. Uh, so it's pretty easy to get them off, but it does sometimes open the pack a bit. And oh, by the way, the odds are uh, just the same as every normal pack, and it does seem that you can still pull other limited edition cards within these multi packs. That'd be pretty good if they're still doing that. Uh, but in this first pack, we do have the Imperial Astromech Droid, and then we do have the Super Star Destroyer as well, the ship there, uh, Captain Kurgi, um, Phasma as well, and then we have got the X Wing Starfighter, um, the Gamorrean Guard. And then part of a puzzle card, as well as Poe's X-Wing Starfighter from the new film. Of course, cards from the new film being just power boosts, uh, not being compared to cards from the classic films, which are also included in this collection. Uh, we'll get straight into the second pack now. And we start off with Boba Fett. Um, and then we have got Mon Calamari. Um, Calamari. Uh, we've also got part of, again, part of a uh, puzzle uh, card, nine cards make up one page and it will all form a picture. Uh, we do have the Riot Control Stormtrooper, uh, which looks to be a Star Wars holographic foil. Uh, that's from the new film as well. And uh, so those are one in every three packs. And then you do get a shiny in every pack as well. We pull Ray here. Uh, five star rated, but only plus two boosts. Uh, but of course, on her other upgraded insert cards, she will have higher boosts. Uh, we also do have Brock Starsha as well. And then the ATST Walker. And the FX7 Medical Droid. And then finally, we do have uh, the game rules as well. As we get into this final pack, which is certain to not contain the limited edition. Um, and in this one, we do have again a puzzle card, another one there. And then we do have. Now, this is the first time I've pulled a 100 rated card in the entire. All my openings of this, bearing in mind I've already opened 24 packs of this. And we do have Obi Wan Kenobi, Jedi Knight, 100 on attack on his holographic. What a card! Uh, no 100 Club branding on there, but uh, yeah, he is. I don't know if he's the only 100 Club, but anyway, nonetheless, 189. That is absolutely fantastic. We've also got Han Solo from the classic films. There, uh, 81 rated shiny. Jabba the Hutt as well, TIE Fighter, um, the 21B medical droid, and then Han Solo from the new films as well there, uh, of course being a power boost. But yeah, that is an absolutely amazing pull to get that Obi-Wan Kenobi 100 rated card. Uh, I think we'll start off, yeah, we'll start off with the top pack and see if this one is the one that contains the limited edition. Um, so we've got the game rules again, two of those pulled in this multi-pack. And then we've got two puzzle cards there. Emperor Palpatine, almost as good as the Obi-Wan, uh, but 96 and 95. And I think he's actually, if you add both of them together, he is higher than the Obi-Wan. So two packs in a row there with absolutely incredible pulls, um, but this time slightly worse. Uh, we also have Dengar as well, uh, Bounty Hunter, and then a Probot. The Tantiv 4 ship, uh, and then Jergerod as well, uh, Moth Jergerod, and the Stormtrooper, uh, one of the many Stormtrooper cards in this collection. Uh, so that means that unless we've had an error, um, the limit edition should be in this bottom pack, and I assume that's how it goes on all mod packs. 
Uh, we start off with Amanaman, the Amani one star card. Uh, pretty appalling there. We've got another one star land speeder. And then we do have our limited edition. As you can see, this time we do have the first order transporter um, there. Uh, so we've pulled that one. Hopefully, we can vary it with the next one. And we also have C3PO's um, holographic. It's still very lowly rated. Uh, of course, Jabba the Hutt as well, somehow with 83 attack, and then part of the puzzle with a Stormtrooper on there. Han Solo, I think that's a different card, uh, but still from the old films, and General Hux as well. That's, that's a really good first multi-pack there, uh, with two fantastic pulls. Let's get straight into this next pack. Um... And we do start off now with a Bounty Hunter Snaggletooth. Uh, and then the Imperial Shuttle as well there. Two star ship this time. Crix Medin. Han Solo again. That's a double uh, or triple. Uh, Darth Vader now continuing our run of very good pulls. Uh, this time it's shiny so it's not actually Darth Vader's best card. But 93 and 90 rated. Um, then we do have another part of a puzzle card. I'm uh, making up the nine with Finn on this time. Owen Lars as well. And then Emperor Palpatine on a puzzle card. So it looks like the limited edition are at the bottom on all of these multi-packs. But next up we do have the bottom middle bit of the puzzle card. Uh, as you can see there, that's Kylo Ren's lightsaber. The Millennium Falcon as well, the training remote. Millennium Falcon again. And Princess Leia, uh, Rebel Leader Shiny. Jawa as well. And then the Admiral uh, Akbar. And then Ray, uh, just her base card, so only plus one. We pulled a plus two a minute ago. Uh, but they do just progressively get better uh, as you get rarer cards. Um, with the limited editions, both of them being plus five, uh, so very good to use in your games. Five is the maximum you can get. Um, but we then do have game rules on the back here, um, but then a dancer there. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, even his base card is 93 rated as you can see there. And we have also got another bit of a puzzle. Uh, Darth Vader, his holographic not quite as good as Kenobi's but still 96. Um, that's the second Darth Vader we've pulled in this multi-pack. Boba Fett, uh, now his shiny, 86 rated. Uh, Princess Leia on a puzzle. And then we do have the T-16 Skyhopper. And also the Stormtrooper, I think, a double there, uh, just within this opening. As we get on to the next one, and it looks like, yeah, we've got Darth Vader on a puzzle, another puzzle there. BB-8, uh, power boost, that's a pretty awesome pull there. Only plus one, but five star rated again, as you can see. Um, and then we do have a Flame Trooper, who made a little cameo in the new film, plus four on both his power boosts on this Star Wars holographic. I think these Star Wars holographics do have these like Star Wars designs in the background, um, whereas the holographics don't. Um, but then we do have the Millennium Falcon Shiny, 82 on defense there. Uh, the Probe Droid Capsule, and then Captain uh, Lennox, as you can see there. And then finally, we do have Poe's X-Wing Starfighter for the second time in this opening. And so now we will get into this final pack and see if we do manage to vary it up and pull the other limited edition of the two. So we start off with a Tuscan Raider, a Savage three-star card. Then again, the bottom of the uh, puzzle card there. Um, another part of a different one. The 8080 Walker. Um, and then we do have, I think, our limited edition in those two. Uh, so we'll leave that to last. It's the Power Boost one. Um, so we'll have a look at the Mercenary, again Jabba the Hutt uh, for the second time. And then we've got the FX7 Medical Droid and Ray's Speeder Power Boost from the new film. So you can see the previous one we did pull uh, was the First Order Transporter. Um, so we are hoping for the TIE Fighter. And it is the TIE Fighter. Uh, that rounds off what has been a very successful opening uh, with very, very good cards pulled along with the two variations of the limited edition. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's opening. If you did, please do smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you next time.